Hey guys, welcome back to RV Living Yet. I am very excited today to share the new news with you guys, our new purchase. Now, after months and months of looking for a new unit, back when we got a new truck, we sold our unit. So that was months ago, right? Yeah. And we've been searching high and low. Rob basically took it on as a full-time job trying to find us a new rig. And after months of going from dealership to dealership and having no luck or things falling through with the dealership, like, I don't know, going to pick up our rig and a broken leaf spring, all the way to private party sales that would basically lie to us stating they had zero leaks when really in the closet is a cup catching the dripping water. So yeah, you need to be aware of the little things that people are gonna try to hide when selling their unit. We've been dealing with this for the last few months of trying to find a rig, being lied to, just things being off about the rigs. And finally, finally, we came across a unit that is so clean that we just jumped on it. Now, when we got the new truck, if you watch that video, you know that we got the truck. The truck was prepped with a fifth wheel package because we were unsure if we wanted to go with a fifth wheel or if we wanted to stick with the travel trailer so we wanted to have that option so stay tuned because we're going to show you what we ended up going with All right, so here's my baby. Here is our new baby and now remember, the truck, the new truck is gray. So it matches so perfectly. Although when we were at the dealership, Rob did not like me stating that because I was a little too excited about the color of it. And he said we still had negotiating to do to pipe down. So I piped down and we ended up getting it for what we wanted it for. <laughs> so here it is, let me get out of the way. Isn't it so pretty? <laughs> All right, so one of the reasons why we like this so much, for the non-obvious reasons, is the storage. So these are the reasons why Rob loved this unit. And it's all this. Now the storage on this thing, it's just amazing. It is like so much bigger than our travel trailer. So Rob was very excited to know that he had places to put his tools. Now obviously you got to, we're not used to the big propane tanks, but we got two giant propane tanks. So it'll last us a lot longer than travel trailer did. And this was another reason Rob loved it is because of this bay as well. You have all this storage right up front. Now this is the Cedar Creek Silverback model, the 33RL, and it's a 2013. Okay, 13. And let me bring it inside so you can see how clean this is. All right, guys, before I take you on inside, why don't you go on down below, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet, and come on in. I just love it because it's got the island that I wanted and I really didn't expect that out of a 2013 but it had all the things that we were looking for in a newer model. The sink even still had its sticker from when it was brand new out of the dealership 
in 2013. So it's pretty neat to see that they really hardly used this and from what I understand they kept it in a barn and hardly used it. So you can I like it because one you can hide your dishes if you need to or if you need more prep area you got this so now it just makes it a prep area which makes it pretty cool. Decent size oven refrigerator was brand new as well they just put in a brand new refrigerator before they traded this in and they just put in new air conditioning unit so that was like pretty significant savings because a 2013 model those are the two things that Rob and I thought that we would have to put in there eventually and knowing that they did it just gave us a nice peace of mind so yeah you got a decent sized refrigerator it's not household size but it's a lot bigger than what we're used to. Freezer is decent size. It's got a little pantry with the slide outs, which makes it very easy to see what you got in there. I like lots of lots of storage. I mean, I cannot ask for any more storage in the kitchen. I mean, it's just got tons. I mean. I don't, I cook a lot and I don't think I need any more storage than this. The fireplace. So when it's raining outside, you can still have yourself a campfire. <laughs> and we got the two love seats, which was on Rob's list of things we need. So we checked those off. We also wanted a couch as well. We got that. And my big thing with transitioning out of the travel trailer, the one thing I hated about the travel trailer <laughs> was the bench. The bench seating in the kitchen. We never ever used it. So it was always down. It was like a flop area for all of our stuff when we were going around the country for all those months. And all I wanted was an actual table and chairs. So, I got And what I also liked about this unit is the blinds. I love the style blinds. I do not like the other blinds. They're just, they break and they're just not good. So, not used to stairs, but that's a new thing. You got all your controllers in here, which is pretty neat. You know? Oh, and the coolest thing, because we all know when you're out hiking or near the beaches, everything's pretty sandy and you always drag it into your unit. Oh, well, not for us anymore, because we got <laughs> Central Vacuum. <laughs> Wouldn't, I wouldn't have expected that out of a 2013 model, but we got it. Sorry. I keep my uh, excitement down a little bit here. So we got a big, bigger shower. Obviously, we took some stuff out of our old camper and put it in here. Like the shower head and our shampoo dispenser videos on both of those if you'd like to know what they are and how to install them and we'll put a link above so you can get to those easily lots of storage in here for all the towels and stuff really haven't moved in yet as far as all of our stuff this toilet feels definitely better than the travel trailer toilet <laughs> but I like the bathroom decent size and it's got the pocket doors that are locked at the moment but they slide out there we go what is it Ace Ventura <gasps> Alright, so <laughs> into the bedroom. 
So what I like about the bedroom and actually about the whole unit, all the slides, if you look, are peaked. So that actually helps, one, give you a little bit more space height-wise while you're in bed. But all around the unit, when you're, when it's pouring rain outside and I feel like it gives you less likelihood of leaks because it's running off. It's not sitting on top of that slide. So I feel like that's more beneficial. But anyway, we got the windows on each side of the slide. So I like the fact that you can get a little breeze in the morning. But we do have a lot of closet space in here. Along with in here. And it also has... The washer dryer hookups in here if you wanted to use them which is very neat but i just like the fact that it's a huge closet we got some big drawers in here obviously if the slides in you don't want to you want to take out your clothes before you pop your slides in because you're not going to be able to get to them we found that out um tv in the bedroom I'd say this is a pretty nice unit, wouldn't you? All right, guys, so there's our new unit, and you can see why I've been so excited. Rob is just even more excited. He just can't contain himself, and that's why he's not in this video. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you next time, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now.